I'm saying is that if there was a family tree, hard work and education would be related, but school would probably be a distant cousin. Because if education is the key, then school is the lock. Because it rarely ever develops your mind to the point where it can perceive red as green and continue to go when someone else said stop. The man you saw in that video there has risen to fame with millions of fans on YouTube. His name is Suli Brakes, and he is in London, England, and he's kind enough to join us tonight on Stay Tuned, uh, live via the Google Hangout. I, let's see, the math skills that I have may not be the best, but I'm going to guess it's a little after 3 a.m. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just after past 3 a.m. It's 10 past 3 at the moment. Well, thank you for staying up with us. We appreciate it. Uh, that video in particular there, uh, where you break down a lot of uh, famous and accomplished people uh, that we would know by name uh, that have done well without a college degree. Uh, why did you make that video? Um, I feel a lot of people are underrepresented in the system. And I mean that it creates a self-fulfilling prophecy whereby they feel the system is not for them, it doesn't cater for them. So when I made that video, it was just based, based on my experience. And I was just hoping that people who've had similar experiences would kind of relate to it and, in a sense, empower them to kind of understand that there is potential beyond the constraints of what the school institution says there is. There is more to education that you've been, than you've been taught. Tell us your background. What, what, what has your experience been in the education system? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a graduate. I graduated from the University of Sheffield in 2009 with a degree in law. And so when you think of the difference between education and school, is there a difference and, and how do you see it? Um, I most definitely believe there's a difference because I feel education is being able to master a particular craft or subject or studying it to the extent where you can apply it in life or even apply it to excel. You know what I mean? And school is essentially institution which is, is supposed to encompass its education, but it doesn't really do that entirely because it has preconceived notions of what education is and how you can test it. So it does to an extent in some subjects, but not, on, not entirely. And some of those themes were in the video that you made, and that video has had a lot of response with people. What, what are they saying? Why is it so popular? Why has it struck a nerve? Um, I honestly believe people can relate to it because there's an element of truth in it. And then I also think a lot of people feel threatened by the fact that your challenge is something which has existed for so long. But the main reason I feel a lot of students do feel what I said in the video and no one has said it for them and, and through me they've kind of found a mouthpiece or a medium to voice their concerns with the system because they're the ones that actively evolved in the system every day. So I believe their opinions and personal feelings towards it should be paramount over everything else. Is this a passion that you're sticking with? Are you continue to work on this? Will we see more videos? I'm, I'm curious as to what you might have on the wall behind you there. Oh, oh no, I mean, essentially, I'm an artist, and, and I like to speak based on personal experience, and that's just one aspect of my experience. I mean, I've been in education since I was young, so it's formulated a lot of my growth. So it's one of the subjects which I tend to touch on, but I make videos about varying topics from time to time. Well, staying with this topic, uh, you clearly have a passion for it. We see in that video. Uh, if we could hand you the magic wand and you could reform education, what would you, what would you suggest? Um, one thing I'd like to highlight first is, I mean, what, what people always say, they want to change education. And in theory, it, it sounds nice, isn't it? But practically, I'm, I'm totally understand that it would be difficult. But that's why when I do do my videos, I focus on empowerment and more about changing people's attitudes toward education. So, so what I would focus on is rec um, understanding individuality with the system, knowing that not everybody fits within the conventional box of being able to pass tests or being able to um, study a certain way. I try to place a great emphasis on the individ individuality of each person within a classroom or etc. Were you surprised by the response to that video? Yeah, I mean, no one. <laughs> I mean, two million views, three million views is overwhelming. I, I was the most surprising. I knew a lot of people where I'm from could relate to it. I think the most surprising factor was the fact that people from varying parts of the world, Shanghai, Australia, were going through the same experience. So that's something that I didn't really expect. But I definitely knew people in the United Kingdom could relate to what I was saying. 
you also talk about the difference, we talked about the difference between school and education. You also bring up the difference between job and career. Tell us what you mean by that. Oh, in my personal opinion of, of having worked in um, numerous jobs, I feel like a career is something that you find satisfying. I mean, you, you have a drive to excel in it or you want to help someone or you want to benefit in it. Whereas a job, I feel the incentive is purely financial. There's a mundane routine. You go in there purely just, to, just, for, just for the monetary gain as opposed to actually some kind of gratification what you're doing or actually trying to change or innovate within that particular um, job you are in. So you're not advocating that uh, uh, folks steer away from college. You yourself went to university. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that that's not your position. No, most definitely not. I'm not advocating that people, because there's definitely subjects like vocational subjects whereby medicine, et cetera, whereby you need to be in the, the subjects, the way they're taught, they cater for the profession. But then, there's, then again, there's a lot of subjects we don't cater entirely for the, pro the profession. And there's a lot of people who may have the skill set to, to excel in that job, but because the system is structured a certain way, they wouldn't be recognized within the educational system. Sully Brakes, thanks for your time. Thanks for staying up late. Uh, and we'll the link to your online. we'll link to your video on our website as well, in case folks haven't seen it. Uh, we appreciate your time. And let's go back to social media and see what people are saying on social media. <laughs>